Welcome to Maxability. To unfold different layers of knowledge, stay tuned with us till the end of the video. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to navigate a data table, a table using voiceover on Safari. This is lesson 9. Let us get started. So how do you navigate to the table? Before even talking about how do you navigate to a table or how do you identify whether your web page contains a data table or not? Let me first see if I am in the right web page I am looking for or not. Yep, if you remember the shortcut command to read the summary of the page is VO shift I. Screen readers, maxability, page has 51 links, 9 headings, 6 form controls, 1 table, 4 landmarks, 2 images. The interesting part is the summary tells that there is a data table. That is one way of identifying if there are any tables on the page or not. The second option is the table quick navigation shortcut command. It's voiceover commands plus command that is control option command plus letter T. Screen readers and links for commands. Table, three columns, eight rows. So when I hit the command table containing, it went to the next table on the web page and has read the summary or the caption whichever that it could identify and also spoke how many rows and columns does this table contain. Now let me do another shortcut command just to see if there are any data tables before the focus area. I can do control option command that is VO plus command plus shift plus T. First table, screen readers and links for commands. Table, three columns, eight rows. It says first table. And it says table with three rows and eight columns. Or three columns and eight rows. Let me now navigate into the table. Once I hear that there is a data table and I am on near to the data table, the first thing I do is I just go into the first cell of the table by using VO plus right arrow. Vendor, column 2, screen reader, column 1. It said screen reader, column 1. So I am on the first row, first column and on the first cell. Now once you are in the data table, you can use VO plus right, left, up and down arrow keys to navigate within the table. So let me do that now. I am pressing control option right arrow to go to the next column. Vendor, column 2. It says vendor, column 2. Links for command slash gestures, column 3. Links for command slash gestures, column 3. Because I am pressing control option right arrow, it is moving from one column to another. I can do the same thing towards the left. Control option left arrow to come to the previous column. Vendor, column 2. Screen reader, column 1. That's the first column. Now if I go to next row, I have to press control option down arrow. Row 2, JAWS. Row 2, JAWS. Row 3. NVDA. Row 3, NVDA. If I have to come to the previous row, control option, up arrow. Row 2, JAWS. Row 1, JAWS. Screen reader. Row 1, screen reader. Now, the second point that I want to let you know is to check whether this data table is created with accessibility in mind or not. So, in any data table, what you need to have is a proper relationship between the header cells. It might be column headers 
or it can be row headers or both in some cases and the data contained in those relevant cells need to be related with the column headers so there should be a relationship between the data cells and the header cells when you are reading in this commands with this shortcut commands control option left right up and down arrow keys let me see if the, this table is accessible or not i'm pressing control option down arrow row 2 jaws now it's a jaws i am switching from the first column second row to second column second row vendor freedom scientific column 2 it says Vendor Freedom Scientific. Vendor is the column header and Freedom Scientific is the data or the information in that cell. And if I press control option right arrow. Links for commands gestures. Link. JAWS commands. Column 3. So links for commands slash gestures is the column header and JAWS commands link is coming from that particular data cell. So when I'm moving from one column to another, the screen reader is reading the column header with the value in the corresponding cell. Because the column headers are created in such a way that the headers represent the relation between the data cells and the column headers. Now let me see if the row headers are having proper relationship. Now I am in the third column of the second row and it has said link JAWS commands. Now let me see, I'll go just one row down and see which commands are there. I'm pressing control option down arrow. Row 3 NVDA link NVDA commands. It said row 3 NVDA link NVDA commands. So the row 3 NVDA, the word NVDA is coming from the row header and the value in the cell is link NVDA commands. I'm just moving to the left side column. Vendor, NV access, column two. The vendor is NV access. Now let me go a row down in the second column. Control option, down arrow. Row four, window eyes, GW micro. Window eyes is coming from the row header and GW micro is coming from the cell or the information from the data cell. In this way, when I'm moving from one row to another, the screen reader is reading the row header and when I'm moving from one column to another, the screen reader is reading the column header. So that is how you test a simple data table. We will read more about the complex data tables and how to test them in a separate session thank you very much for watching this video if you like don't forget to like us and share the video with your friends thank you very much thank you for watching and being with us please like and share the video don't forget to click on the bell icon and also for more updates subscribe the channel